Welcome back to GC360. Tragedy struck Georgia College family last week when a student's life was cut short by suicide. Reporter Nick Widener, who covered the story for The Colonnade, joins us now. How are you, Nick? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Megan? Doing good. Well, this story broke last Thursday. The student, Alice Chung, she was 23. She hanged herself in her bathroom. Mm -hmm. And we got news from two students, or one student rather, Sean Espinoza. He came up to our editor-in-chief, Lindsay Shoemake, and told her that he found out about a death at the Grove. And at first, we didn't really know what was going on. So we sent some people over there, and, and they, they really weren't telling us anything. But we found out, you know, we got the police report, and we put up a story online on Friday afternoon. And that was just sort of a bare bones story, just kind of laying out the facts. Mm -hmm. And then over the weekend, her funeral was held, and we went to that and talked to friends and family and, and met with them and kind of got the full story on that. And Alice, she was suffering from depression, her friends had said, and, and they were sort of looking for her the night before, and they couldn't find her anywhere. And they looked in the library, they looked at her apartment several times. And eventually, one of her friends climbed up onto the roof of the grove and, and sort of entered her apartment and he found her in the bathroom and that was when they called the police and everyone came and have you spoken with the student who um, found her first I have yes mm -hmm. it, the two are they're obviously devastated and Absolutely. you know our deepest condolences go out to them mm -hmm. so. right. and then last night on Wednesday mm -hmm. there was a memorial service held by the International Club to honor Alice Great, great. Was there a good turnout there? Were you there was. The uh, campus was represented pretty well, awesome. and um, even Cody Allen spoke. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Nick. Thank you for joining us, Nick. Anyone struggling with depression is encouraged to uh, encouraged to make campus counseling services located in Suite 210 of the Wellness and Recreation Center or contact the Suicide Prevention Resource Center at www.sprc.org.